Hello everyone, this is Sadat from Alam Kool. Uh, today we are going to talk about tissues. We have already learned about a fundamental unit of life, life that is cell, right? In that we have learned the various components of the cell and its function. Now we are going to see about tissues. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to talk about mainly plant tissues. Now let's see here. Before that, we have to learn what is tissues. So we already know, right? All living organisms are made up of cells. And uh, in single, right? In unicellular organism, there is single cell. And in multicellular organism, there are many cells, right? And in unicellular organism, one cell performs all the function. And in multicellular organism, a group of cells, right? Performs different function. So the group of cells, they are similar in structure and uh, they work together to achieve right particular function that is called tissues so group of cell similar in structure and they work together to perform a particular function okay that is called tissues okay and different tissue perform different functions and these cells are arranged and designed so as to give the highest possible efficiency of function they can perform and all these tissue have cells of the tissues have common origin and tissue can be a uh, be simple or complex tissues so blood flow muscles they these all are the examples of tissues and basically uh, the thing is uh, structure and function of cells in plants and animals are different because in plants uh, there is uh, in animals uh, there is uh, involvement of the movement okay locomotion because uh, um, human animals they don't stay at one place okay um, so their needs will be different so their tissue cells will be different and the tissues will be also different like as plants they are stationary so their cells will be different and their tissues will be different now let's talk about plant tissues let's see here plant tissues they are mainly divided into two parts okay we have male stomatic tissues and we have permanent tissues okay now uh, this meristematic tissues they are further divided into apical intercalary and lateral meristem okay and uh, this permanent tissue they are divided into simple and complex okay now in simple we have uh, parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma in complex we have xylem and phloem now let's see the meristematic tissues these meristematic tissues are capable of division and permanent tissue they are not capable of division okay that is the difference now we we'll see the meristematic tissues here the cells they keep on divided and give it will give rise to new cells okay that's why it is called meristematic tissues and they are responsible for growth of plants and uh, this meristematic tissue they are present in specified uh, location okay um like root or uh, shoot tips right and they are also known as growth tissues okay and these cells are very active they have dense cytoplasm and uh, thin cellulose wall and uh, what do they have they have nucleus also prominent nucleus like you can see that really visible but they lack vacuoles why because vacuoles are filled with self sap and it provides rigidity and rigidity to the cell this will hinder this will right hinder in cell division okay this is disadvantages to the cell division okay because of that there is no vacuum next uh, we have uh, the types these cells are three types okay this meristematic apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem now this apical meristem they are present at tips of uh, root and stems okay they increase the length the length of the plant okay and uh, here we see intercalary meristem here they will be present at nodes okay this uh, intercalary meristem they increase the elongation in this lateral meristem what do they do they increase the girth of the plant okay now let's see here uh, uh, i have differentiated here we see, we can see the differentiation okay about apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem this first point is based upon where they are located here they are in apical meristem they are located at tips of root and stem in intercalary 
in the internode and here in the lateral the later side of stem end root okay position we have the same thing here also functional role you can see here um, height of the plant here also height of the plant okay and here we have thickness of the plant by increasing the diameter of the plant okay uh, next uh, in permanent tissue we'll talk about permanent tissue in the next class uh, thank you everyone don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye